Hi, hi, everyone! Sup? Hope you're ready to tune in. I'm Rila. I'm Riley. And, and you're, you're watching, watching Bulletin Weekly. Weekly! Let's kick this off with news that should make Rila happy. Huh? Disney announced that before they shut down their game division, they're gonna crank out a Rogue One expansion for Disney Infinity and 12 inch figures. <laughs> really? You think they'll make a Jumbo Mini Mouse? No, Riley, it's too easy. In other gaming news, Bandai announced their upcoming sequel to Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I thought you didn't like Dragon Ball. Hey, Dragon Ball is amazing! Dragon Ball Z, though, well, at least Xenoverse is a game. So... So, no five episodes of charging? God, yes. Anyway, Hideo Kojima, you know, that Hideo Kojima, took to Twitter the other day and revealed some more details about his upcoming project, Ludens. The details are sparse, but he did name the suit that the character in the image is wearing. It's called the Extra Vehicular Activity Suit, or EVA. I wouldn't be surprised if we wind up hearing more about it at E3. This is Kojima we're talking about. For all we know, he's been working on this since before he left Konami, and schemed this all along. Are you ready to be the very best? Like no one ever was. The closed beta registration for Pokemon Go opened up in the US as of Monday. Australia and New Zealand too. So get on it, people. It'll tide you over till sun and moon in November. If you get it, avoid looking in Riley's direction. She will spot you. She will challenge you to battle and she will not let you escape. As if. Whatever you guys do, don't battle Rila. What? Why? I love battling. Like you need another win under your belt. I have no idea what you're talking about. That's bull and you know it. I'm terrible at games, remember? Pokemon isn't a game to you. It's a friggin' lifestyle choice. Speaking of Nintendo... So, in some pretty interesting news, Nintendo announced that they have plans to release original feature films within the next two to three years. They wouldn't comment, though, on the rumors of a Legend of Zelda Netflix series or movie in the works. Pick surprise there. Now, for those of you in the crowd having Super Mario Bros. flashbacks, don't worry. They're not licensing this time. They're doing it themselves. Wait! That could mean... Hold on a sec. I know that look. I make that look. Uh-oh. This means we can finally get a Metroid movie! Even if all they do is adapt the manga! Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap! Hmm, not as intense as my fangirl moments, but not bad. 7 out of 10. Needs more squee. Shut up. In other movie news, two trailers just hit the web for Steven Spielberg's BFG. And it is just dripping with whimsy. Spielberg's thumbprints are all over this thing. But then you add Disney to it, and yeesh. It looks so cute! Sis, anyone ever told you that you have one heck of a sweet tooth? Alright, so... Time for the internet to all collectively groan as we have some news about uh, Transformers 5. How? How did we allow this to happen? How did we allow this to get five movies? Yeah, well, at least there's a glimmer of hope on the horizon. Apparently, Bay isn't gonna have anything to do with any of them after this. But that's old news. The news for today is that the new movie now has an official title. It's gonna be called The Last Night. How very original. Betcha they were up all night working on that one. Alright, back to stuff you care about. I'm still skeptical about Suicide Squad, but at least we got something like this out of it. Either Margot Robbie loves playing Harley Quinn, or this is purely a career move. But either way, she's set to produce and star in a Harley Quinn spin-off movie with a predominantly female cast. It's pretty interesting. How is that going to work? Hey, Harley's a pretty complex character, and a pretty dangerous one. 
In fact, she came closer to killing Batman than literally any other one of his rogues back in the animated series. But a solo movie? She wants to have more roles that aren't defined by their association to male characters. Which is great, and I applaud her for it. But she picked a heck of a role to experiment with that on. Hey, she could be playing Jane in a Tarzan movie. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Huh. Japan time! In manga news, Hyoka's going to be getting its first new volume in six years! Six years? You people wonder why I prefer Western comics. To be an anime fan, one must master the art of patience, my young sister. You are five minutes older. Cool your jets. I will not cool my jets! Don't you know what this means? It means that a second season of the anime could happen. Then I can have more Edu. Let me guess. Edu is... Edu is waifu! Edu is love! Of course. In other anime news, this year's the 25th anniversary of Anime Expo. And this year's expo is going to be hosting members of the Love Live Sunshine cast, as well as the director of One Punch Man and the voice actors of Saitama, Makoto Furukawa. Wait, One Punch Man's gonna be there? Awesome! You watched One Punch Man? Superheroes, duh. I see. Say, sis, have you heard of the miraculous ladybug by any chance? Oh, <laughs> we do not have enough time for that conversation. In the episode? In the week. One last tidbit of anime news. Kenji Kamiyama's anime film project, Hirune Hime, just got its first teaser. And with that teaser came the reveal of Mitsuki Takahara as the voice of the lead, Kokone. Some artwork was revealed for the project a while back, and... Hold up! That looks like Baymax. It... huh? The robot. It looks like if Baymax was a transformer or something that turned into a scooter. Oh my god, you're right! No I enter this project even more! You're... welcome? Now for some breaking news in comics! Oh man! Oh man! Blade, Moon Knight, and Ghost Rider. Nothing's totally confirmed yet, but Netflix is gonna be featuring Blade, Moon Knight, and Ghost Rider in the Marvel Cinematic Netflix verse. Dude, you have no idea how amped I am. Blade, Moon Knight, and maybe even a Ghost Rider done right. This is so friggin' awesome! Time for impressions. Riley, did you stumble across anything interesting? Go watch the Overwatch animation, the new one, Hanzo's. Go! Uh... It's awesome! You won't be disappointed! Go! You're... getting really excited for Overwatch lately. As for me, I've been watching Cabinary of the Iron Fortress. It's on the fifth episode at the moment. It's a post-apocalyptic steampunk series with some seriously high production value. It's kind of like Attack on Titan, but without being an animated obituary column. Ha! Ah. The monsters are giant, but they are near indestructible and have a specific weak point. The main character gets turned into a halfling, he uses his wits and new powers to fight the monsters, you know how it is. Just be warned, it gets, uh, dark. <sighs> Normally, we'd close out with the impressions, but this is important. In comic news, acclaimed comic book artist, and one of my personal favorites, Darwin Cook passed away on the 14th. He died of cancer in his Florida home and was 53. His family since requested that donations be made to the Canadian Cancer Society and the Hero Initiative. Cook worked on Catwoman, The Spirit, and DC The New Frontier, among other things. You should check them out. They're good reads. Ugh, damn it. Riley? I'm fine. Just always wanted to meet him is all. Say hi at a con or whatever. Ah, uh, well. Then we shall not be weary, though we shall prevail. Thanks for your contribution, Mr. Cook. It meant a lot to a lot of people. And that's our show, everyone! 
kind of a slow news week, but a mostly good one. Mostly. Sorry, Riley. I said I'm fine. Now let's wrap up. I need to call Dad. What for? Cook was 53. Dad's around there. And I don't call him enough. You never know, you know? I just want to talk to him. I think Daddy would appreciate that. Yeah, so if you guys liked what you saw, give that like button a zap, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. This has been Bulletin Weekly. I'm Rila. I'm Riley. And as always, stay, stay tuned! tuned.